Welcome to the Zoho Creator tutorial series. I'm Tejas. Creator is a powerful tool that can be used to make custom business applications from scratch. In this series, we'll be walking you through step-by-step -step how to build one of these apps. We'll start with the easy stuff and slowly work our way up to the more advanced parts of the building process. Every video will be focused on a different component, feature, or function of Creator, so you'll get a good grasp of how to use Creator and see some of its abilities. We hope that after this series, you'll be able to make an application similar in scope to this one. In this upcoming video, we'll be making a vacation request application. The end goal of this app is to make it easy and intuitive for employees to request time off. We also want the manager to have an easy time with the HR side of this, like accepting and rejecting requests and viewing who is currently taking off on what days. So let's jump into the app and see what it's all about. First, let's take a look at our vacation request form. Employees will see this form whenever they open the application. For an employee requesting a vacation, it's really easy. First, they need to click on employee name and find it and click on their name, and they can search for it by typing it in as well. Then they select when the vacation will begin and when the vacation will end. Now, you'll see that vacation days off automatically are calculated. We'll create a workflow that automatically calculates that based on the start and end date in a future video. But for now, just know that it magically happens. All an employee has to do next is click Submit, and that vacation request has now been logged. Now, you may be wondering what happens if an employee tries to take off more days than they currently have allocated to them. If we go through the same process and select the employee and select a longer duration for the vacation, maybe all of December, they're requesting 31 days off, and when they click Submit, an alert box will pop up saying that they only have 20 days allocated to them and they're trying to request more than they have allowed. And so we'll go through this entire workflow of calculating how many vacation days they're requesting, how many they have allowed, and doing the math and seeing if they go over the limit or not in future videos. Now we're looking at a report of all the vacation requests that have been submitted. Here, a manager could see all of the requests and if they're approved, rejected, or still in a pending state. You'll see that there's some buttons for easily being able to approve or reject a request, and you can see ones that have already been approved or rejected have these buttons grayed out because after it's been approved, you can't take it away from somebody and vice versa. So we'll go through a workflow of how to create these buttons, how to create the actions that are associated whenever you click on them. And if a manager wants to see um, Dwight's days off in maybe more of a calendar format to see how many people are off on a certain day, he can pop over to their dashboard. And this dashboard will create in a future video. And you can see here, we've got some green records here that show that that re request was approved and some gray ones here that show that those are pending requests that haven't been approved or denied yet. Once the manager takes a look at this report, they can pop back over to their vacation request report and either approve or reject them. So we'll approve one and it'll take us back here and you'll see that it became green now. So that's another workflow that we'll have created in a future video. Now that we're on the dashboard page, I'll walk you through a little bit about what's going on here. We've got a couple KPIs at the very top that show us how many requests were approved, rejected, and the total number that we've received. If we went in and added more, this number would update automatically. We've got the calendar report that shows us who's taking off on what days. And also we've got a list of all the sales people in the, in the organization and how many days off they've requested and how many they have available left for the year. Baseline is everybody gets 20 days per year, and maybe a few people get extra like Stanley and Jim for some reason. Here you can see that Dwight has 15 days available and he's requested five already, and that five corresponds with the five days off that he requested in November here. So it's a very easy way to see a bird's eye view of everything going on, and we can customize this and we'll walk through a lot more of those tweaks and colors and look and feel in our videos dedicated to dashboards themselves. So this is just a very simple creator application about requesting vacation time off, but I hope you can see how powerful it is and how much potential creator has. Next time, we'll be starting from scratch and I'll walk through the entire process of building this application, all the different steps and functions and uh, workflows that go into it, and then eventually we'll get to this final product by the end of the video series. Thank you for joining and hope to see you in future videos.